start class 9 notes social science economics chapter 3 poverty as a challenge introduction poverty is the most difficult challenge faced by independent india poverty is a condition in which a person lacks the financial resources and essential things to enjoy minimum standards of life poor people can be landless laborers in villages jhuggi and slum dwellers in cities and towns daily wage workers at construction sites child workers in dhabas or even beggars india has the largest single concentration of the poor in the world where every fourth person is poor two typical cases of poverty urban and rural urban case ram saran is a daily wage laborer in a flour mill near ranchi in jharkhand he earns around rupees 1500 1500 per month when employed he supports his family of six persons besides sending some money to his elderly parents his wife and son also work but none of his four children can attend school the family lives in a one room rented house on the outer areas of the city the children are undernourished have very few clothes or footwear and no access to health care rural case lakha singh is a landless laborer in a small village near meerut in uttar pradesh by doing odd jobs for farmers he earns rupees 50 per day sometimes he gets some food grain or other items instead of cash he is not lit- literate and his family of 8 people lives in a kachcha hut near the edge of the village they have no access to health care cannot afford new clothes or even soap or oil poverty analysis by social scientist social scientist analyze poverty from many aspects besides levels of income and consumption these aspects are poor level of literacy malnutrition leading to poor resistance to disease lack of access to health care lack of job opportunities lack of access to sanitation and safe drinking water and so on indicators for poverty the most commonly used indicators for poverty analysis are social exclusion and vulnerability social exclusion a social exclusion means living in a poor surrounding with poor people excluded from enjoying social equality of better of people in the better surrounding social exclusion can be a cause as well as a result of poverty which leads to exclusion of individuals or group from facilities benefits and opportunities that others enjoy in india the caste system is based on social exclusion people belonging to certain caste were prevented from enjoying equal facilities benefits and opportunities these this caused more poverty than the lower income vulnerability vulnerability to poverty is a measure which describes the greater probability of certain communities that is members of a backward caste or individual that is widow physically handicapped person of becoming or remaining poor in the coming time vulnerability is determined by various options available to different communities in terms of assets education job health etc and analyze their ability to face various risk like natural disasters the group which face greater risk at the time of natural calamity are called vulnerable groups poverty line poverty line is an imaginary line used by any country to determine its poverty it is considered appropriate by a country according to its existing social norms it varies from time to time place to place and country to country the most common method of determining poverty is income or consumption levels that is people will be considered poor poor if their income or consumption level falls below a given 
minimum level poverty line necessary to fulfill the basic needs. Poverty line estimation in India. In India, a subsistence level or minimum level of food requirement as determined by its calorific value, clothing, wear, footwear, fuel, lightning, educational and medical requirements, etc. are determined for estimating the poverty line. Since rural and urban areas, the nature of work and the prices of goods are different. The calorific requirement and expenditure per capita are also different. Poverty line defined by the government as follows. Minimum calorie requirement per day. Minimum level of earning per month. Organizations involved in estimating poverty line. Surveys for determining poverty line are carried out by the National Sample Survey Organization, NSSO. It is an organization under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation of the Government of India. It conducts surveys at the interval of five years. It is the largest organization in India conducting regular social uh, socio-economic surveys it was established in 1950 for determining the poverty line in various countries and for their comparison international organizations like the world bank use a uniform standard method as per this method the poverty line is level of minimum av availability of the equivalent of dollar 1 per person per day Poverty trends in India. There is a decline in poverty ratios in India from about 45% in 1994 to 21.9% in 2012. If the trend of declining poverty ratios in India continues at this rate, then the poverty line may reduce 20% in the next few years. Group vulnerable to poverty. Poverty among social groups and economic categories varies widely in India. Social vulnerable groups are the households of the scheduled caste, SCs and scheduled tribes, STs. Economically vulnerable groups comprise rural landless labor households and urban casual labor households. However, during the last few years, all these groups except the scheduled tribes group have witnessed a decline in poverty. Story of Sivaraman The family of Sivaraman, a rural, landless laborer, has been cited as an example of such a family. There are eight members in the family and both he and the wife work. His children do not attend school due to poverty. Only his son gets milk sometimes and they find difficulty in managing even two meals in a day. The story portrays the sufferings of Sivaraman who works as an agricultural laborer that too for just five to six months in a year. The sufferings and inequality within the family for women and children are even more. Girls are not sent to school and not even given milk to drink while the youngest child who is a son gets milk to drink sometimes and his parents also plan for his education. Interstate disparities The proportion of poor people is not the same in every state. Recent estimates show while the All India HCR was 21.9% in 2011 to 12 states like Madhya Pradesh, Assam, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Odisha had all India poverty, la poverty level. Bihar and Odisha continue to be the two poorest states with poverty ratios of 33.7% and 37.6% respectively. Along with rural poverty, urban poverty is also high in Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. In states like Kerala, Jammu and Kashmir, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, West Bengal, 
Ethiopia is a significant decline in poverty. The states successful in reducing poverty have adopted different methods for doing so. Some examples are Punjab and Haryana had high agriculture, agricultural growth rates due to the effects of the Green Revolution. Kerala has developed its human resources by investing more in education. West Bengal has reduced poverty by implementing land reforms. Public distribution of food grains at subsidi subsidized prices in Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu has helped in poverty reduction. Jammu and Kashmir have generated wide-ranging economic activities all across the state and converted potential in various sectors into employment opportunities. Global poverty scan, uh, scenario. Although extreme economic poverty has reduced in the world from 43% in 1990 to 22% in 2000, 2008, as per the World Bank, still there are vast regional differences. There are stated below. The proportion of people living under poverty in different countries is defined by the international poverty line means population below $1 a day. In Southeast Asia and China, there is a decline in poverty due to rapid economic growth and massive investment in human resource development. In Latin America and the Caribbean, the poverty ratio has not changed significantly since 1981. In Sub-Saharan Africa, poverty has increased since 1981 due to successive droughts and other regions. However, it declined from 51% in 1981 to 47% in 2008. Economic growth it is a term which defines an increase in real output of a country. Causes of poverty. Poverty continues in India for a variety of reasons. Historically, there was a low level, a low level of economic development under the British colonial administration prior to 1947. They discouraged traditional handicrafts and also <coughs> industrial development, reducing job opportunities and income growth. The low level of economic development persisted for many years after independence and due to population increase. Per capita income growth, growth was low increasing poverty. The Green Revolution improved opportunities in agriculture only in certain areas of the country. The growth in the population increased the number of job seekers who had to be content with low paying jobs in urban areas, leading to poverty spreading to towns and cities. Socio-cultural, that is traditions and economic factors led to extra expenditure which ultimately increases poverty. There is an unequal distribution of land and other resources that is why there are large income inequalities also. Land reforms have not been properly implement, implemented and lack of adi adequate land resource is also a reason for many people to be poor. Small farmers borrow money for seeds, fertilizers and pesticides etc. and later on fail to pay landing in debt trap. This high level of indebtedness is both the cause and effect of poverty. <laughs> Anti-poverty measures. Removal of poverty has been one of the major objectives of Indian developmental strategy. The current anti-poverty strategy of the government is based on the following two objectives. First, promote, promotion of economic growth. The growth has promoted economic growth during the last few years. Economic growth was slow till the 1980s but has increased significantly since then causing significant poverty reduction. The high economic growth helps in a significant reduction of poverty. There is strong linkage between economic growth and poverty reduction. Economic growth widens opportunities and provides the resources needed to invest in human development. 
high economic growth encourages people to send their children including the girl child to school with hope of better economic returns from investing in education the proof may not take direct advantage of economic growth due to lack of growth in the agricultural sector the large number of people remain poor in rural areas second targeted anti poverty programs the government introduced targeted anti poverty programs starting from 1990 the results of these programs have been mixed due to lack of proper implementation and improper targeting also some schemes overlap others thus the benefits of these schemes are not fully reaching the deserving poor so now the government is emphasizing more on proper monitoring of all these programs millennium development goals these are eight international development goals that were officially established following the millennium summit of the united nations in 2000 following the adoption adoption of the united nations millennium declaration one of these was to reduce by 50% the proportion of living people living in living on less than us dollar one the challenges to poverty reduction poverty reduction is still a major challenge in india due to the wide differences between regions as well as rural and urban areas further poverty should include not only the matter of the adequate amount of food but other factors like education healthcare shelter job security gender equality dignity and so on these give us the concept of human poverty poverty reduction is expected to be lower in the next 10 to 15 years in addition to anti poverty measures the government should focus on the following to reduce poverty higher economic growth universal free elementary education the decrease in population growth empowerment of women and weaker sections thank you